Manscaped with Vitev again. So there's a very common uh, confusion or frustration that revolves around alkaline water, specifically around how to test the water. And I'm not talking about necessarily the filtration, but the pH aspect of the water. How do you know if you're getting what you paid for? Because typically what happens is people are excited about their new ionizer or they grab some water at the store and they run home to test it. They want to make sure they got you know, what they were promised and they grab those pH strips and they dip it in the water and what happens? It doesn't jive with the number that's on the bottle or what you thought you were getting from the company that sold you the ionizer. So you get frustrated, you get upset, you think you got scammed. So what I want to show you today is a couple of examples of what I'm talking about and then explain to you why that happens and then give you some information that you can use to make a better decision in which type of alkaline water you choose to drink. So let's get to the testing. All right, so what do you notice? The way these strips work is they have two pads on them and then you match up the two pads to kind of give you the best indication of what that pH level is. The one on the left is the one that was nine plus pH and that actually showed us blue in the, um, or kind of a bluish green color in the pH drops. The next one down below is the one that says 9.5 or higher and you do see that's a higher pH than the first one. The first one is definitely in more of the acidic range. Uh, the Essentia brand was much better. It's in that more neutral range. And then when you get to the Vitev one, there's a little bit more green on top or maybe a little bit more bluish on the bottom. So we're starting to hit above seven, seven and a half now. Notice none of them are at 9.5. Even ours isn't at 9.5. But there's definitely a graduated scale or a graduated improvement between the brands and between the options. So why is that? Okay, so why is there such a big disconnect between what the strip showed and what the drop showed? Well, it comes down to the fact that they're not measuring the same property. Um, that's ultimately the issue here that, that we get confused on. And, it, and the confusion comes from the fact that thinking pH and alkalinity are the same thing. They're not. The strips are measuring closer, or are measuring more what the alkalinity is, the actual mineral concentration in the water. The pH drops are measuring the potential of hydrogen, which is more complicated and we don't need to discuss or, or, or really go into that right now. But just take away the fact that they're not the same thing. You can have high pH and low alkalinity, right? You can have low or high alkalinity and low pH. Some of the bottled mineral waters like Gerolsteiner and stuff that have 2000 TDS, so really high concentration of minerals, but they're carbonated. Well, you're getting really high alkalinity, but you're getting a low acidic pH. They're not the same thing. And, and that's kind of the takeaway on this. What you want to look for is a water that has a, a closer relationship between the two where that gap's not as big. The difficulty with these often is they have to filter so well, they strip everything out of the water, and then to build that alkaline level back up, it, it's harder to do. You can make a pH number happen very simply with just a little bit of chemistry. Um, but to support it with the minerals, the TDS, it's harder to do. It messes with the flavor, harder to transport. Um, there's just some other issues with that. So if you can find a water that has a closer relationship, like I said, this is the one we recommend for people who are, who are traveling in a pinch, it's much better for you. Um, and, and then if you can go even higher than that, the reason we like the Flow Plus or our countertop systems is because um, we can leverage the minerals that are already in the source water and just build up from that. It, it's easier on us and we can just provide some balancing and some improvement and not so much have to just dump a bunch of minerals in the water to make it, make it support it. Um, so yeah, that's the biggest takeaway from here. We're not talking about ORP and antioxidant levels and, and, and that sort of thing because while these show the same colors and had the same or you know, a little bit better minerals here than this one. There are lots of other differences that, that we can discuss with this, but simply from a pH and alkaline standpoint, that's why they're different, and that's why the testing mechanisms are different. And um, don't be frustrated, unless you get a four, then you can be frustrated. But if you're seeing a, a close to neutral or above, not that big a deal, okay? Um, hope this helps. Let us know if you have any other questions, and uh, we'll be talking with you soon.